Anthony Hudson here. And the two teams about to go head-to-head -to -head today. Melbourne and GWS Giants. Today's game from the MCG. Pretty overcast conditions here for this match. Well, some light rain might make an impact on this contest. Gary Lyon joins me for this match. Welcome, Gaz. Yes, thanks, Hanno. A real pleasure to be here for this game today. Here today, the clash between Melbourne and GWS Giants. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp. And the crowd are appreciating it. The banners are ready for the players. It's a big midfield battle today. Whichever team can get on top in the middle of the ground will walk out with us today. their way onto the ground the banners look great as the players get set to run through them the captains converge for the toss of the coin The Demons winning the toss. We're just moments away from the opening bounce. <laughs> Brown thumps it clear. Darling collects the loose ball. Stringer scoops it up. Terrific mark there. 25 metres out. McKay slams it towards goal. They get around him after that effort. The first goal of the day for GWS Giants. Slapped away. Practising some fancy moves. Motlock couldn't hang onto the ball. A bit too hard with the push, and it's a free kick. He might kick a goal. Pinpoint accuracy from Parker. He celebrates hard after that. Melbourne get themselves on the board. Brown thumped it clear. A clean pickup. McKay slips the tackler. Had the pressure bearing down. Darling gets a quick kick away. Dumont drops the mark. He flicks it over. Pardigan with the ball. Bruce cuts it off. Fuse keeps coming. Greenwood getting in on the act. Melbourne fans getting excited about that one. That will settle his nerves. Gets his first on the ball. He's enjoying that goal. Big thump from Uzza. He has the ball. Green just threw it. Moved on by Parker. A good mark under the circumstances. So what could Melbourne do with this opportunity in front of goal? He likes his chances from here. The drop punt goes straight between the big sticks. He puts through his first goal. Look at them celebrate that effort. Melbourne had three in a row. The lead is now 12. He did really well there and gets the reward. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot.
buzzer clears the contest. He just throws that ball. Darling collects the kick. The ball mopped up. Green uses it by foot. Matera wins the marking contest. Decides to kick. And the ball trickles over the line. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? There's some great skills on display right now. A great match. Wasting a lot of effort there. Smooth shows some physicality. Has a runner alongside him. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Works it across the ground. Good mark there. Melbourne could have been giving the opposition a chance to move the ball around freely, which is working because they're getting on top once they force a contest. Intercepts the ball well. Smooth puts it on the boot. It's marked by Walters. Alex to kick. Nice mark under pressure. Uses it now. A race for the loose ball. A long driving kick. Parker wins the foot race. The ball goes over the line. Sheridan running off for a break. Ball tossed back in. Day won the tap. Swallow controls this one. Gives a don't argue. Couldn't keep the ball in play. Looks like we'll have a throw in. Toss back into play. Tap down. He gets his hands on the footy. Is in his possession, racking up possessions now. The loose ball picked up. Lambert runs onto the field. We'll have another ball up. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch. Day won the hit out. With the ball now. Daniel takes the mark. Looks up with a kick. Landed in his back on this occasion. Goes by foot. Easily takes the mark. A piercing kick from Williams. Taken well at ground level by Dumont. Thank you, I'll have it. The umpire calls for a stoppage. Guides it down. Just goes bang. He heads for home. Marks now and can send it back. Melbourne just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Hill got up but couldn't bring it down. Laird brushes off the tackle. The mark is taken by Stringer. Tips it towards half forward. Rowan, a bit too casual with the tackle. Getting in the way was Brown. Fiorini dug out the loose ball. Lobs the handball. Gives the old don't argue. Hands that ball to the opposition. Off hands from Grimes. Well taken at ground level. Uses the hands instead of the body. And it's a free kick. Saad moves it now. Grimes to bring it in. Plays on from the kick in. Looks to move it by foot. Gets the loose ball. The ball spills from the tackle. Motlock won himself a free. Converting these opportunities could make a big difference to today's results. Needs a big kick if he's going to put this through. Picked off the deck. Got the hands free. Has it now. Takes an uncontested mark.
Dumont heads long with that kick. Smooth grabs that one. Melbourne, Kevin been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the fourth. GWS Giants with a lot to think about as they trail by 13. Melbourne deserved this lead early. They'd want to keep it up if they're going to win this. What do you make of it all, Gaz? GWS Giants can't have any trouble winning the ball. They just need to use it more effectively to get into a winning position. Thanks for that, Gary. The second term ready to get underway. Taps it down. He gains possession. Parker pushes through with power. Intercepted by Swallow. Turned it over. Going for goal number two. Grimes missed an opportunity to mark. Looking for options now. Decides to play on. Grimes kicks hard along the boundary line. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Melbourne forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Ball hits the deck. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? This is a great game, Hutto, and we can just sit back and enjoy it. Gets it away, releases by hand, gets a quick kick away. Open opportunity for Kay. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Melbourne forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Congratulated by his teammates. Thump clear. He's got the football now. Smith kick goes inside the 50. Blitzars did well to win that ball. Moves the ball out of defence. Winning the ball in the air was Lambert. Got boot to ball. He gives chase to the footy. Keeps it moving. It's a turnover. Walters looks hurt. That doesn't look good. I don't think he'll be coming back. The ball spills. Takes possession. He wins possession. Great mark. Melbourne for allowing the opposition uncontested marks, but they sit up behind the ball so well it forces the opposition to play that style. Lambert, can he put it through? Day takes a strong mark. 20 metres out. The kick will be from a 45-degree angle. Going for goal number one. Day enjoying that goal. Now they lead by 14. Majek just swats it away. The ball spills the views. Hardigan spills it, dug out the loose ball. Greenwood wins the ball in the air. 35 metres out. He takes aim. No issues with that drop pass. Another goal. He's kicked a couple now. And that puts them further in front. Greenwood celebrates with the fans. Majek with a big fist on it. A quick handball from Kennedy. Well collected. First touch for Dixon. Buse clears the congestion. Finds a target. Kick by Greenwood. Sheridan found some space and marked. A chance here to convert for Melbourne. Uses it by foot. The mark is taken by Bruce. 45 metres out. He drives it towards goal. Kept his head and kicked the goal. He's absolutely loving it. Why not? Puts his second on the ball. They increase their lead. Celebrating hard. Swats it. He's got the footy in his hands. Brown gives it to the player running pass. Brown turns a free. He drives it. A solid mark from Paddigan. Puts boot to ball. A chance to gather the ball. 
Daniel. There to mop up. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Yeah, he's barely touched the ball, have Wilson gathers it now. He runs it over the line. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? I'd really love it if these teams took the contest to the next level. Links with hands. Lyons just gets it out of the boot. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Takes it well. 40 metres out. Going for goal number one. That's the sort of goal that can get the team up and about. Daniel celebrating hard. GWS Giants reduce the margin. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. GWS Giants are doing a great job of applying pressure and creating turnovers. It's allowing them plenty of opportunities. They just need to convert those into scores. Majek gets onto the ball. Clean from the half volley. Just gave it away. String it just too high with the tackle. Chose to kick it. Doing well to intercept that kick. Sinks the slipper into it. Gathered by Wines. Rushes with the kick. Applies a bump. Williams pushes his opponent off with one hand. Intercepted. And the umpire will ball it up. Punched away. Swallow gets the loose ball. Grimes with a short hand pass. Finds the loose ball. Slams it on the boot. Day determined to reach the ball, receives the handball and takes off. Picks up the loose ball. Williams applies a bump. They can create from this. Pushes through with power. Jamont gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Takes a nice mark. Wilson kicks it. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Melbourne have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Ball up in the centre square. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? This game needs a spark at the moment. Melbourne can make the most of their ruck dominance. It's one area of their game that seems on top here. Giving it off was Sheridan. Brown brushed off easily. A big contested grab. The distance might be just beyond him. Can't Dade needs a chance to rest. The siren sounds, and that's the end of the term. The scores, Melbourne 38, GWS Giants 18. Melbourne will go into the rooms at halftime with plenty of confidence and back themselves for the second half. Here's Gaz to break down the stats. GWS Giants have been better around the corner. A big second half about to begin. Brown thrashes it. McKay on the ball. Needs a bit of a rest. Just puts it out in front. Getting pushed out of the way was Wines. Lambert wins it back. A great defensive effort. Clears the congestion. Greenwood doesn't get low enough and gives away the free. Saar dishes it off. The old one too. Just gets it onto the boot. Jamal uses the body well. Goes with the kick. Smith presents and takes the mark. Melbourne haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Outstanding pressure. Lair just dismisses Bruce. Gets into a good position to take that. The kick from Elliott. Takes a strong mark. 40 metres out. Move it on. Majek thumps it towards goal. 
Oh, what about that? That was really special. That's his first. Gets some reward for his efforts. They're starting to get on top at the minute. Hammers it. Scoops it up. Bruce heading to the bench. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. What can you tell us, Gaz? It's a really entertaining game of football. Uses a short handball. Fiorini puts on a big hit. He gives it a ride. Goes wide from behind. The margin is 15. Teammates break for him. The mark has been taken. Puts it on the boot. Smith hangs on to that one. Gets a touch to the ball. A chance to put a second goal on the ball. Through for a point. Melbourne with a handy break. They lead GWS Giants 40 to 24. Melbourne have turned it over too often today. They aren't coping with the pressure. They should try and slow it down and control the ball for a moment. Good mark and looks to send it back. Looking to kick goal number two. Nice hand. Ten metres out. Pumps it clear. Smith comes away with the ball. Here's Walters. We'll get a stoppage. Day with the punch. Lyon controlled the difficult ball. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Day got a fist to it. Slick with the hands. Handballs to a teammate on the run. Puts it right through the middle. Gets his first. He's excited about that one. GWS Giants, the margin, back within three goals. That's a really good team goal. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. GWS Giants just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Brown thumps it forward. Rowan picks up the loose ball. Sweeping handball from Parker. Hurry kick. Stuck the mitts out there and held on to it. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Melbourne forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Now they've got to sit up and find a way to stop the ball movement. Grimes plays it to himself with a driving kick over the top of the pack. Stringer drives the kick, taking a nice grab. Moves it by foot. Marked by Smith. Moves the ball by foot. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. He needs to find a way into this game. The boundary line wins. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? I'm loving what this game is giving us right now. He gains possession. Tuik is streaming past and gets the footy. Wins the race to the ball. A stab kick from Tard. We'll get a ball up. Thump by Buzzer. Dug it out. Walters hacking it out of there. Found space for an easy bar. 45 metres out. He goes for broke. Just hits the post and a minor score. The Giants close the gap to 16.
considering the options on the kick in. Hartley leading the race to the loose ball. Going for goal number one. The kick connects with the post. GWS Giants won't be happy to see that scoreboard. Blitzarves decides to go to himself. Moves the ball by foot. Buse with an easy mark. Hacks it forward. Wine controlling the airwaves on this occasion. Melbourne are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Goes with the kick. Hill wins the ball in the air. Uses it by foot. Ends up turning this ball over. Hardigan kicks it out of bounds on the full. Lyons goes with the kick. He takes the mark. Hill elects to kick. Cleanly picked up. Stringer throws the ball away. With a driving kick. He goes it alone. Lambert delivers with a straight drop punt. This kick puts them further into the lead. His teammates rush over. And there's the siren to end the third quarter. The scores are Melbourne 53 to GWS Giants 32. The Demons will be looking to not only hold their lead, but they want to put this beyond doubt early and run away with a big win. Any thoughts from you, Gaz? GWS Giants are trying to control the play on the outside, but they might be overusing the ball a bit at times. Playing more direct might help them. Let's see what this last quarter throws up. Oh, they're going to take some risks now. They can't afford to waste any time. Thrashes it. Using every ounce of energy he has left. Hill with a penetrating handball. Normally a pretty good kick. Let's see what he can do here. They're doing really well to chew some time off the clock here. Day with a chance for a third goal today. Look at him, he really enjoyed that one. That's two in a row for Melbourne. 27 points the difference. Brown hurls it away. Just got the hands in the back there. Uses it now. Smith might have overworked himself there. Manufactures the handball. Sar gets in the way. Fails to fend off the tackler. Great attack on the ball carrier. Just put his hands in the back of the opponent, and it's a free. String searches for a teammate downfield. Walters manages to get it under the boot. He doesn't want to let his teammates down with this shot at goal. Matera decides to go it alone. It somehow fits over the line, and it's a goal. Smiles all round. GWS Giants now only trail by 21. Brown with the hit. He's got the football now. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Williams went out in the square. Mills had it, lost it. Sends it clear of the contest. Takes a simple grab. Melbourne just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Great mark under pressure. Got boot to ball. The boundary line wins this race. Now heading off to the bench for a break. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? 
I'm waiting for something to change the way this game is going right now. Didn't get away from the tackle. Big tackle. Missed the target. Punches are clear. Buzzer with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Dishes it off. Elliott grabbed it clean. Ball up calls. Winning it was Buzzer. Keeps it alive under some pressure. Darling rides out the tackle. Sees it out of play. Stringer making his way onto the field. Umpire tosses it in. Clears the contest. Scoops up the ball. Gets it away under pressure. Gathers it now. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Swats it. Buzzer collects it. Found a way to keep balance. He's got the footy in his hands. And the mark will be paid. He spears the ball. A chance to reload the attack now. Puts it on the boot. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. Spent that one before he earned it. It's been a great game from Swallow. He's setting the example at the moment. He's put that one through. He acknowledges the crowd. They have lifted their intensity. Brown gets onto the ball. Takes possession. Dishes it off to a player on the run. Puts the handball out in front. He's in charge of the ranking points. He's doing everything right. Looking for another goal here. Blair Max. Melbourne haven't been able to set up any set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Sinks the slipper into it. Collected by Jumont. Movement by hand. Blair finds his man on the move. Brown just put it on the boot. Takes that one strongly. McKay going for number two. He blasts it through for another. He just loved that one. Just under two goals, the difference now. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. GWS Giants haven't been able to get the ball forward enough to score. They need to get some repeat entries inside 50 to generate some scoring. Majek heads onto the ground. It'll be a ball up. A critical stage of this one. Thrashes it. The loose ball scooped up. Gets around Mr. Invisible. Nice. Finding the loose ball was Huey. Got him up. Got him up. Now we've got a ball up. Clears the contest. Use the hands and gives away the free. Good opportunity for GWS Giants to put a goal through here. Swallow launches towards goal. He's enjoying that goal. GWS Giants have kicked the last four goals. It's coming down to the wire. McKay with quick hands. Quick hands. And they could be away here. This is green. It's cut off by Tomlinson. Just put it on the boot. Collects the loose ball. And we'll get a ball up. Thump clear. Brown couldn't stick the tackle. Makes it somebody else's problem. McKay, hurried kick. Majek is the body to take that mark. Puts boot to ball. Does well to cut off the kick. 
Fuse going for distance with the kick. The ball ends up with Hines. Elects to kick it long. Picking it up was Brown. Thank you, I'll have it. Ball up on the outer side wing. Hammers it. Mops up the loose ball. Quickly onto the boot. Takes the mark. Rowan releases the ball. Squeezes out a handball. He looks like he needs a spell. Ball gets cut off. A time to celebrate. Smith loves that goal. GWS Giants have kicked the last five goals. GWS Giants get back and grab the lead. The Demon players devastated after a result like that. What were your thoughts on the match, Gas? It's a cruel game sometimes, Hutto, and today one side had to learn that lesson the hard way. Final scores are 62 to 59. That's all for today. On behalf of myself and Gary Lyon, thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon. It's been my pleasure, Hutto, and we look forward to having everyone back soon.